Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Worst Possible Commander Show. It's me, it's CGB, and today I'm playing Commander with my friends, Blake. Meh. Hmm, interesting. Shay. Hello. And Ben. Hello. And we are sponsored by CoolStuffInc.com. Promo code WORST at CoolStuffInc.com gets you 5% off of your order and shows your love for the show. So go do it as soon as this video ends, or pause it and do it now. Just whatever works for you, I guess. You are the you in YouTube. Do what you want. Today we are playing a Street Fighter themed showdown because Secret Lair came out, it was earlier this year, with Street Fighter themed Magic the Gathering cards. And all of them are legendary creatures, which is awesome for a commander. So we've got our Street Fighter commanders here. We've each built a deck with a Street Fighter as the commander. And mine is Chun-Li of countless kicks. Chun-Li is one and a white and a blue for a 3-3 three, three human soldier with multi-kicker for Azorius Hybrid. And when Chun-Li enters the battlefield, exile up to X target instant cards from your graveyard, where X is the number of times Chun-Li was kicked. Put a kick counter on each of them. And then has the ability Lightning Kick. And Lightning Kick reads, when Chun-Li attacks, copy each exiled card you own with a kick counter on it, and you may cast the copies. So, we cast Chun-Li, we exile stuff from Graveyard. We attack with Chun-Li, we copy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the coolest thing that I could copy is some kind of an extra turn spell, because then I could take all of the turns. But the only instant that does that is Nexus of Fate, which shuffles back into the library. So that shouldn't work, right? But what if my worst possible were to exile Mystical Tutor, which I could then cast with every attack from Chun-Li to search for a Nexus of Fate and put it on top of my library so that every single turn I were drawing Nexus of Fate again. Then I could have all the turns, all the attacks, and victory would be mine. So that's my worst possible. Blake, what do you have for us? Oh, I completely understand. Yeah. Sounds pretty sick. <laughs> wow. Wait, what? <laughs> He's just making no Am I taking crazy what? In what? Fact. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, okay, of course. So, um, yeah, you, you get it. I'm sure you get it at home. You definitely totally comprehended all of that. Blanca, Blanca, ladies mm. and gentlemen. Mm. Okay, Shay, uh, who is your Street Fighter commander and what's the worst possible thing you're going to do to us? Yeah, today I'm playing Zangief the Red Cyclone. He's two black red and green. Um, he's a human warrior and he's a 7-4. So Zangief the Red Cyclone must be blocked if able. He also has something called Iron Muscle. As long as it's your turn, Zangief has Indestructible. And then he also has something called Spinning Pile Driver. Whenever Zangief deals damage to a creature, if that creature was dealt excess damage this turn, that creature's controller sacrifices a non-creature, non-land permanent. So my deck is all about going in for those pile driver attacks with Zangief, right? Forcing you to block with your creatures, and then I'm kind of blowing up, forcing you to sacrifice your stuff, blowing up your stuff. Um, and that is made even worse with something like Rancor, um, the uh, one green enchantment aura. Enchant creature gets uh, plus two, plus zero, oh, and has trample. Um, so then I'll be forcing you to block, taking out your stuff, you'll be taking some commander damage, you know. Um, and then also if I have something like Mr. Orifo, the boulder on the field, uh, whenever you attack, double target creature's power until end of turn. That's some even more commander damage for you all. Oh my. And to make it the worst possible, if I can play um, the Instant Adventure Sweeping Cleave or something like it, target creature you control gains double strike until end of turn. So doubling power, giving it double strike, taking out your stuff, and knocking you out with commander damage. Um, and actually, you know, to quote Zangief, sooner or later, I pile drive everyone. <laughs> Um, so you guys have that to look forward to. Okay. Uh, so you have Jund Voltron. You, you kind of, yeah. yeah, that's what it's like. It's like Jund Voltron. Yeah, exactly. Blanca, it's like Voltron. 
<laughs> I know how much Blake hates Voltron, but Blanca might be into that. Mm, okay. Well said. I, I love it when he agrees with me and says nice, kind, complimentary things about me. I'm sure that's what that translates to. Ben, <laughs> what are you playing? What's your worst possible? Okay, I'm playing the most American dude ever, <laughs> Guile Sonic Soldier. Um, is it easy to read in those glasses? Not well, kind of. The foil helps a little bit, but <laughs> that's, his, that's an but American answer. He's got some answer. aviators on, so that's why I got him on. Uh, whenever he enters a battlefield or attacks, I put a charge counter on him, or I can remove a charge car counter from him. Uh, if I remove a counter this way, I choose one. I either choose Sonic Boom, which he, he deals da four damage to any target. He himself does that damage, so right, Blanca. In fact, mm. Mm. Oh, great minds okay. think alike. Anyway, um, or you can flash kick. He gains lifelink and indestructible till end of turn. And so my commander can do a lot of tricky stuff. But <laughs> um, so American. Um, my worst possible isn't have anything to do with my commander, <laughs> ironically. But uh, I have all these mana rocks. So I can eventually cast Explosion and just shoot someone and draw a card. Very American. Yeah. Big smash. USA. 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 All right. Well, before we kick off this particular battle, Shay has some salutations to read for our patrons. Take it away, Shay. Yes, thank you. Uh, so I have three patrons to shout out today. I've got John Vanek, Chris Scheffler, and Matthew Picard. Thank you, patrons. You guys are very cool. And on that note, we're gonna shuffle up and we're gonna start this little throwdown. Round one, fight. All right, Ben is about to kick off round one when we fight, because I can't make that joke enough. But I want to quickly say that my commander was originally requested on Patreon by Alice Hart. So Alice, uh, you were the inspiration for my deck, which then led to the decision to do the Street Fighter Showdown. So this one's for you. Check out Patreon if you guys want to click that link in the description and see the sweet perks, including one that allows you to choose our commander. All right, Ben, round one. Fort. Okay, I will draw. I'll play a Castle Vantress tap, and I will pass. All right, draw. I will play a Sea Chrome Coast. Taps for a white or a blue. It's untapped because I only have one land right now. Your turn. All right. Blaka. Yeah, I decided. Uh, I don't know why my my throat hurts from the intro. I don't know. I'm gonna play a tap stomping ground past the turn. <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna play a little old land called Arena. It's uh, three and tap. Choose one of your creatures and have your opponent choose one of his or her creatures. Both target creatures become tapped. Your creature does its power and damage to your opponent's creature, and your opponent's creature does its power and damage to yours. Wow. That's very fighty <laughs> themed. What yeah. what color man does it tap for? Right now, nothing. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Sickest turn one. Okay. It is a board decoration at this point. <laughs> okay. I'll pass right. to you then. Cool. Okay. I'll untap. <laughs> Draw a card. I'm going to play a Port Town untapped because I'm going to reveal a planes. Whoa. Yep, that's a planes. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tap two and play an Azorius Signet, and then I'll pass. Oh, Ben, dude. I'm going to draw for turn. Dude, what? Dude. dude. I will also play a land and play an Azorius. Oh, nice. Signet. Same art and everything. Sig yeah. bros. Nice. <laughs> Your turn, Blake. All right. Going to untap and draw for turn. I'm then going to play a forest. And I'm going to play a moss diamond, which is not as cool as your signets. But whatever, dude. Go ahead, Shay. Okay. 
I'm going to play Yavamaya, Cradle of Grove. So now I can tap my arena for green. Oh, nice. Woo. I will then tap two for a rampant growth. Searching for a basic, put onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle. Okay, I have grabbed a mountain, and I will pass the turn to you, Ben. Okay, I'll untap, draw a card, play Sky Cloud Expanse. I'll tap four to play Tall Rand Sky Summoner. Mm, nice. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery, create a 2 2 flying Drake. Drake creature token. I like how all three of us build decks fully centric around our commander, and then there's Ben. <laughs> it's just like, I use him for the colors. <laughs> all right. Your turn's easy. And now I'm going to untap, draw, and play my fully commander centric card, Ristic Study. <laughs> just ruin this nice, wholesome game of magic we've been having. So Whatever, dude. Now, whenever you guys uh, play a spell, let me know if you're going to pay the one, or I'll have to remind you with a smooth, did you pay the one? <laughs> Great. I think that's your favorite question. Then I'm going to play an Azorius Chancery and return this island to my hand, and I'm done. All right, I'm going to untap, draw for turn. I'm going to sacrifice an Arid Mesa. All right, with the Arid Mesa, I got Basic Mountain. And then I'm going to play Season of Growth, paying for Ristic Study. So Season of Growth is a two mana enchantment. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under my control, I scry one. And whenever you cast a spell that targets a creature you control, draw a card. Pass the turn to Shay. It's like a Ristic study for you. It is, yeah. <laughs> I don't even have to pay. Draw for turn. Play an exotic orchard. I'll pass the turn. All right, I'll untap. I'm gonna tap five paying for Ristic to cast my commander. Guile's Sonic Soldier. Yeah. When he enters the battlefield, he'll get a charge counter. I would like to say I'm scared of Blanca, but I don't think I am right now. So I'm gonna swing at Shay for two. <laughs> oh. Wow. Brutal. Not the guy with the Ristic study. <laughs> Fair. Get him, get her. Uh, okay, no blocks, I'll take two. And I'll pass. All right, you guys, and your tax paying is really tilting. I'll draw. <laughs> I will tap the Chancery for two mana and play a Felwar Stone. I will play Hall of the Bandit Lord tapped. This is a legendary land that I can tap to pay three life to make one colorless mana. Not a great deal. But I, if I spend it on a creature spell, that creature gains haste. Mm. Then I'm going to cast Windfall each player discards his or her hand and draws cards equal to the greatest number a player discarded this way. So who has the most cards in hand? I have five. Count them. One. I also two, have five. Three. Oh, thanks, Ben. <laughs> I have six. And I have four. So if this resolves, gonna discard and draw six. All of us do. Sounds good to me. All right, let's go. After that, I'm going to play a Chrome Mox and I'm going to imprint a phantasmal image. So now this can tap for blue. Then I'm done. Hope you enjoy the new cards, Blanca Blake. Blake, Blake, Anka. Blakey, Blakey, Blanca, Blanca, Blake, Anka. Am I in a fever tree? <laughs> he just likes hearing his name a lot. Oh, I do. <laughs> it's true, he got me. All right, I'm gonna play a forest. All right, I am going to pay three for Arcane Signet, paying for the Christic Study. Please stop, stop paying. And then I'm going to play a Shadow Spear, paying for the Christic Study. Pass the turn to Shay. I'm gonna play an Overgrown Tune and I'm gonna shotgun it. Shotgun is when you take two damage, when you play your shock land untapped. It's really cool when you say shotgun it, and we can kind of make up this term and use it however we want, no matter what they say in the comments. Yes, well, I, I did shotgun it because uh -oh. I'm gonna tap five. I will not be able to pay for Rhystic Study to cast Sangeef. The Red Cyclone, Thank welcome you. to the party. Draw for Rhystic. Thank you, Shay. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> then I'll pass the turn. <laughs> I'll untap, play a mountain for turn, and I'll tap six, not paying for Ristic, but I'm sure I'll love not paying for Ristic soon because I'm playing in Consecrated Sphinx. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna draw for my Ristic and uh... Yeah, this blue mage is... I do have a response to Consecrate Sphinx. Okay, it is on the stack. It's on the stack. I'm going to tap the Chrome Mox. I'm going to cast a Thought Scour, target player mills two cards, and I draw a card. I'm going to target myself. Mm, so yeah, nice. I'm going to mill an Achroma's Will and a Prismatic Vista and draw while that's still on the stack. But I don't have a way to kill it or counter it right now. Yay. Resolves. Okay, combat. Guile's making enemies, guys. I am going to swing Guile and Talrand at Shay, and I will remove a counter when he attacks, dealing four damage. Sonic booming Sonic to boom. Zangief. I'm sorry, Shay. Poor Shay. Is all right. All I can speculate, at risk of starting a war in the comments, is that this is a Russia versus America Cold no, War. No. <laughs> And it's the only other creature other than mine on the field. So. And luckily, it is exactly four dollars. You didn't have to luckily swing both me, of them at her, though. I so mean, brutal. True. Yes. Sweet. Ben's gone arch villain this game. <laughs> He's in my seat. This shall not be forgotten. That is fine. Uh, Zangief is dead, and I have no blocks, so that's six damage? Yes. Okay, six damage. I'll pass. After okay, that. I'll untap. And during my upkeep, before oh, I oh move no. to my draw, you guys have been so responsible with paying your taxes, I'm gonna do something before oh I no. draw a card and feed this Sphinx. Oh no, the Sphinx right. is hungry though. Too bad. I'm gonna channel <laughs> Otawara Soaring City and return it to your hand. Oh, okay. But guys, it's there and it's coming for us. I think it's coming for you and Shay. <laughs> Not for me. Uh, I have a feeling you're going to make some waves. I'm going to draw for turn. All right, I will play a Ledger Shredder. So whenever a player casts their second spell each turn, Ledger Shredder connives. Then I'm done. I'm going to crack a Verdant Catacombs. All right, I got a Basic Forest. I didn't know you could get a Basic Forest with Verdant Catacombs. I just always get a dual land. <laughs> Go on. I'm gonna tap six. I'm gonna play Bl play Blanca, paying for Ristic Study. Of course you are. And then I'm gonna move to combat, <clears throat> and not peace in our time, but justice in our time. I'm attacking Ben for five. Oh man, this a uh, an alliance against America? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to as, Brazil. As, as Blanca would say, seeing you in action is a joke. That is commander damage. Let's keep. Oh that. yeah, could be relevant. It could definitely be relevant for that one. Yeah. Go ahead, Shay. Oh wait, no, we have we have a functionality oh, on do, here for commander actually. damage. Show oh us. snap! So when we put this to the side, we get to oh. put our commander damage. So my commander yeah. damage on Ben is at five. Oh, oh. That's crazy. and then for me, that will be four yeah. from Ben. Crazy Pretty cool. guys! Whoa. Perfect. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Go ahead. Sean. Okay. <laughs> That's good. I'll start by tapping three to cycle Zyatora's proving ground. The boxing ring. Oh. It's so flavorful with your Aww. commander. I know. It is very cool, but I need a card draw. All right. I'll tap for a green, not paying for Ristic Study. Thank you. Ignoble Hierarch. And I'm also going to pay to not paying for Ristic Study for three visits. Okay, that's also going to trigger the Ledger Shredder. So I'm going to draw, then I'm going to connive, draw a discard. So bad. I know it sucks, but I'm trying to find something for that Sphinx. Yeah. So hopefully it works out for you guys. I'm going to discard Shadow Rift to the Ledger Shredder so it will have a plus one, plus one counter. <laughs> Dude, Chun Li's pretty sweet, actually. Yeah, it's she's kind of cool. cool. <laughs> I she always she was always the coolest. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite Street Fighter memories 
and I'm dating myself here, but I, I had a whole bunch of friends over for a birthday party. We were teenage boys, all of us, except for, and um, it, my little sister was there too. But uh, we were all playing Street Fighter, trying to figure out who is the best at Street Fighter. And you know, Ken and Ryu and Zangief. And my mother comes downstairs and decides she wants to play against our champion, a kid named Nathan. And she chose Chun-Li, and I'm not joking, turned her back to the, to, she, she turned around, she turned her back to the screen <laughs> and just hit buttons playing Chun-Li and she beat him. <laughs> what? And we never let him forget it for that all of his adolescent days. That dude retired from gaming. He's done. He dude. Actually, he went straight out and became a football jock, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that yeah. would too. <laughs> He's like, this is not for me. <laughs> yep, he lost, he lost to my mom with her back to the TV. Oh, your mom sounds legendary. Yeah, your mom yeah. sounds awesome. <laughs> That's where I get it from. All right, I grabbed a stomping ground. Then I'm gonna pass the turn. I'll tap six. Not paying for Ristic. Study to cast a Consecrated Sphinx. Okay, I'll take the draw. I'm just chilling, dude. You are just chilling. Got my, this is supposed to be orange hair. Don't at me. They didn't have orange. That's my pretty orange close. Hair. Thanks. <laughs> I just know some nerds are gonna be like, no, actually his hair is orange. Whatever, nerd. You guys don't <laughs> understand the actual color here in the store, okay? Yeah, Post-production, it's, it's YouTube, a it's a your hue. screen. Yeah, it's probably your <laughs> screen that messes with it. Wow. Check your settings. Nerds. <laughs> Got it. Wow. Nice. I will swing at Blake for six. Trigger Guile, and I'll put a charge counter on him. You gonna attack me? Yep. I'll take six. I'll pass. Shay, your... Um, not paying taxes, did deliver, so I can cast a Path to Exile targeting oh. the Consecrated Sphinx. Is that my end step? It is on your end step. Okay. In response to that, I'll tap one to Swords of Plowshares, Blake's Commander. That... Connive trigger first. Yep, that triggers connive because it's your second spell, so I have right. to draw then discard, which is going to trigger your Sphinx. Yep. So, draw. And discard. And then on your draw, I'll draw two. Yep. I'll discard a hinge gate pathway. Then cool. swords I will... will resolve. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> what? Okay. I'm going to cast a Ranger's Guile on nice. Blanca. So this is going to trigger a couple things. Whoa, whoa. First off, everyone's going to take two damage. All three of you are going to take two damage from Blanca's ability. You can't cast that. Why not? Because it's... It says Guile, and that's his commander. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. But 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 seriously, uh, do you play? Do you pay for no, Ristic? No. no, I can't pay for Ristic. Well, I'm not putting it on the stack while that consecrated no, sphinx is out. Enough. So so fine. this is gonna after it deals two damage, it's also gonna draw me a card from Season of Growth. Um, d I know. We're which do. I'll draw <gasps> two from. I don't actually. It's not a May. Okay. Oh God. Okay. All right. I'll draw yeah, two from Lake Straw. Yeah. I'll take two. All right. Well, that was fun. And now uh, well, well, swords dissipates. That's right. And then path, path to exile. exile, consecrated as exiled. Yep. And, and you I'll search. search for a basic. Here is my revealed planes from the path to exile. Goes in my hand. Goes to the battlefield tapped. Oh, it does. Right. Mm -hmm. Boom. And here is my Drake from casting the swords of plowshare <laughs> from Tall Rand. He's flying. He's zooming. He's unwell. And. Then I am done. I drew for turn. I'm going to play a Nimbus Maze, another version of a white and blue land. All right, let's tap some rocks. I'm going to play a Smothering Tithe. So just more fun things to keep in touch with me about as you take your turn. All the tech. Then I am going to tap Hall of the Bandit Lord and pay three life. And I'm going to cast chun -Li of Countless Kicks with Multi-Kicker 2. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> and I'm going to exile two cards from my graveyard. I'm going to choose Thought Scour, and I'm going to choose Akroma's Will. Oh. So, Akroma's Will says if you control your commander as you cast this spell, you may choose both. Otherwise, it's choose one. Creatures you control gain flying, vigilance, and double strike until end of turn, and creatures you control gain lifelink, indestructible, and protection from all colors until end of turn. Jesus. I'm also going to trigger Ledger Shredder because this is my second spell. So I'm going to draw and discard. And I will discard a Prairie Stream. 
So I'm going to put these two just under Chun-Li here with countless kicks, but it's important to note that they're exiled with kick counters. So even if something happens to Chun-Li, uh, they will still have kick counters on them in the future. So a future version of Chun-Li could still use them. I also used Hall of the Bandit Lord, so she has haste. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, hello, Chun-Li. Hello, Ben. No, I'm Guile. No, you've been causing all <laughs> kinds of trouble. <laughs> and I think, I mean, it, Honestly, Shay, you're the person I'm definitely not going to attack, and I'm not sure what's scarier, Season of Growth and Blanca, or just Ben doing Ben things. Yeah, Ben doing Ben things. You're not supposed to cheer for yourself when I'm deciding who to attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Blake doing Blake your, things. Your fate has been decided. <laughs> what do you think? If you don't attack me, you're weak. Well, you're making her decide? Wow. If you don't attack me, you're weak. I'm getting taunted. Nobody can match my brutal strength. I'm gonna... All right, well. <laughs> Even tigers are like cats to me. You're nothing but a rat. <laughs> Even tigers are like cats to yeah. you, nice. <laughs> All right, fine, Blaka. I'm attacking wait, you. Wait, for real? With Chun-Li <laughs> and Ledger Shredder. And we're casting a Chroma's Will and Thought Scour on the attack. So creatures I control gain flying. Vigilance, but they had to tap to attack. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't matter. Double Strike and lifelink, and indestructible, and protection from all colors. Jesus. I also resolve a Thought Scour, so I mill two and draw a card. Uh, resolving Thought Scour, mill a Command Tower and a Flawless Maneuver, and I'll draw a card. And uh, what you gonna do? This is a 2-4 with all those abilities, and this is a 3-3 with all those abilities, particularly life, lifelink and double strike. Is it's got the, double strike, right? And yeah. flying and protection from all colors. Whatever, nerd. I'll take it. All right, so that's going to be 10 total, and I'll gain 10. And it's six, six commander. commander. Yep. Your turn, Blaka. I will uh, draw for turn and not pay for the uh, whatever that card is. It's a smothering tithe, and sure. here's a treasure for me. So, CGB, you know I dislike tax cards. <laughs> oh, wait, that, that's his line. <laughs> that's his line. <laughs> oh. Uh. He doesn't want to kill me today because I'm funny. Yeah, you're very funny today. I'm going to cast a Ryle targeting Blanca. So this is going to do one damage to the to him. He's going to gain Trample. I'm going to gain... I'm going to draw two cards and deal two damage to everybody. And he's also going to get plus two, plus two. Are you also I'm not... I'm not paying for Ristic Study. Okay. So let's resolve that. So everyone takes two damage. Bink, bink. Bink, bink. CGB, you draw a card. Yep. This guy gets plus two, plus two. I will draw two cards. Okay, I have Smothering Tithe triggers on those draws. Okay, you can draw with uh, Smothering Tithe. You can make your treasures. Okay, so I now have three treasures. All right, I'm also going to spend two mana to cast Aggressive Urge on Blanca. So this is gonna do basically everything that just happened again. So CGB, we will draw a card. Okay. With Rhystic Study, We're all, you guys are all gonna take two. Blanca's gonna get plus three, plus three this time because of Aggressive Urge giving another plus one, plus one. And then I'm gonna draw two cards and CGB's gonna make some treasures. Okay. Up to five treasures. I'm gonna move to combat. How much mana do you have? Five? Four? Four. Okay. I'm going to attack CGB for- Oh! Oh. I'm sorry. I also have a connive trigger from Ledger Shredder. You sure it's do. not optional. No, you sure do. So I have to draw and discard. I will discard a land tax for a plus one, plus one counter. Proceed. I will attack CGB for 10. Me? What have I ever done to you? You played so many tax cards! <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh. Uh, 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 all right, so 10 commander. Um, I don't have any blockers. Okay. Uh, before damage. No, you're no, you're you're good. You don't have to do any oh, more. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> oh, I'm ten, good. <laughs> 10 is a good number. I'm going to cast Psychotic Fury. So this is gonna deal two damage to everybody. Okay. I will pay for Ristic Study here. Okay. And then I'm going to, this guy's gonna get plus two, plus two, going to seven. And then I it doubles his power. So now he's attacking for, or double strike. So now he's attacking for 24. And I'm gonna draw two cards with Season of Growth. Well, let's put that trigger on the stack for a minute. Sure. Yeah, let's have the, the card draw triggers just chilling. You know what? Let's resolve one of the card draw triggers. Do you pay for Smothering Tithe? 
I cannot. Then, mm. all right. I am going to use one of my treasures and I'm going to target Blanca with a card draw trigger still on the stack and Psychotic Fury still on the stack. I'm gonna target Blanca with Suspend. Exile target creature, put two time counters on it. Wait, you know how this works. This is what <laughs> happened that Consecrate Sphinx and it never came back. I just wanna play the game. Fair enough though. Yep, that's <laughs> fine. I did not get to one of my Hexproof cards. Oh, okay. Um, so are you going to suspend it or move it to command zone? Because you do have that option. I'm going to suspend it. Okay. You also still have the card draw trigger. Yep. So I'm going to draw. And I'm going to make another treasure. Yep. Tell me. It was the protection spell. <laughs> <laughs> what? Timing is everything. What? It's okay. We don't, no have, we don't have to talk about it. It's fine. <laughs> my friends suck. It's, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will oh. move to my end step and clean up by discarding a past in flames. Ooh, that has flashback. Sure does. Each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard gains flashback until end of turn. You could Whoa. do all that again. Pow, pow, pow! Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, well, that's exciting. Okay. This deck's sweet. <laughs> Draw for turn. Would you uh, like to pay for smothering tides? Oh, I cannot. We'll go to seven treasures. All right, so you do not intend to attack me on your turn. Is that correct, Ben? Correct. Cool. I really appreciate that. No problem. Very much. All right, I'm gonna tap for seven and not pay any of my taxes, sadly, to cast Sangeef again. All right, I will draw. Then I am going to tap two, not paying my taxes. Okay. For a ram through. A ram through. It's a fight card. It's a fight card. Target creature you control deals, it's actually damage. Damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. If the creature you control has trample, excess damage is dealt to that creature's controller instead. Okay. It doesn't have trample though, No right? trample. Okay. And you're using Zangief and- Yes. I'm going to target Zangief and then I feel like I should probably- Yes, I'm targeting Zangief, and I am targeting Ledger Shredder. So two triggers, the Rhystic Study that you're not going to pay, and also the Connive from Ledger Shredder. Correct. Because it's your second spell. So I'm going to draw from Rhystic Study, then I'm going to draw a discard with uh, Ledger Shredder. Yep. I will discard a Cephalid Colosseum. I don't have any way to save Ledger Shredder, so that gets rammed through. Okay, and then I think I have a spinning pile driver uh, trigger here. So when it deals excess damage to a creature, if that creature was, oh, sorry. If that creature was dealt excess damage this turn, that creature's controller sacrifices a non-creature non-land permanent. Yeah, that works. I am going to sacrifice a treasure. I did a thing. <laughs> Let's go, Shay. Yeah. Woo, woo. Uh, Good, woo. And with that, I'm gonna pass the turn to Ben. Okay. We'll draw a card, not paying for smothering time. Ben has principles and sticks to them. <laughs> Very or, or just no principles. Very America. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get myself in trouble. I love my country, I really do. <laughs> I will play a desolate lighthouse for turn. It either taps for colorless or is it in one and tap, I draw and then discard. You should do that. You should definitely draw and discard. So I can smothering tithe the you. Oh yeah, yeah right. That, that's all. I was like, why? That's, yeah, that's that, what you want me to do. That's it, that's three. That's all I got for now. Um, I will tab these three. Yes, that works out. To play a haughty gin. Oh yeah. Haughty gin. Flying star four. Oh man. Uh, his power is equal to the number of instants and sorcery cards in my graveyard, and the instants and sorcery spells cost one less to cast. But does it pay for Rhystic? Oh, it does not. Okay. You're dying over there, aren't you? He never pays. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go right to combat after that. Dude. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just go for it. Go for it. Go, Go for, for it. it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it, guys. Go for it. Eight. All at CGB, and I'll remove the charge counter to ping that fighter. 
What? Chun Li. You're targeting my Chun Li. Yeah. For, for the for the sonic boom. Okay. Nice. All right. I am going to use five treasures, going down to just two left. Oh boo hoo. Uh huh. And I'm going to cast Mystic Confluence, and I am going to choose the mode of return target creature to owner's hand three times. I'm going to target Chun Li of Countless Kicks. I'm also going to target your commander, Guile, Sonic Soldier, and I'm also going to target Tal Ren Sky Summoner. Nice. I have a response. He got, he got out of there. Or... Oh, I'm passing priority. Okay. Pass priority. I have a response. Okay. I will tap this lonely island. Consider that I have a Ristic study. He's never okay. done that. <laughs> <laughs> I will also tap a mountain for the Ristic study. Trigger. You're paying the Ristic study? And I will play Stubborn Denial. Oh. Counter target non-creature spell unless its controller pays one, but it has Ferocious, which means if you control a creature with power four or greater, counter that spell and Get him, dude! <laughs> Whoa, Ben. Nerd. A counter spell from Ben. I know, a one mana one back in Dragons of Tarkir. Well, that's exciting. So I am going to cast a Force of Will, exiling a Mystic Remora from my hand and paying one life, targeting Stubborn Denial, yeah. because I am more stubborn and more denial than you. Hey, hey Blake, I got rid of a Mystic Remora for you, but I'll respond Thanks, as well. <gasps> I'll tap uh, three. Is that, yeah, that works out. I'm using this for the Orzo. Four for the first thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll play Render Silent. What? Counter target spells controller can't cast spells this turn. I wanted to use that on your turn, but oh well. <laughs> the heck is this? <laughs> this is baloney. It's Guile with control. I oh, know. No. <laughs> so wait a minute. If this gets countered, then this is four damage being dealt to Chun Li. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I've got one oh, more play. <laughs> I'm going to sacrifice two treasures, and I'm going to cast Show of Confidence. This says when you cast this spell, copy it for each other instant or sorcery you've cast this turn, you may choose new targets, <laughs> which is going to be two additional, and it gets plus one, plus one counter on target creature. No! So I'm going to make three copies of Show of Confidence. They're all going to target Chun-Li, so she's going to get plus three, plus three in, go in a, counters. Yep. Go to a six, six? Yes. Wow. So she'll survive that sonic boom and all these cards will hit the graveyard. Wow. Caesar, can you give us a sonic boom? Yeah. This is pretty good. Sonic boom! <laughs> Get back! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> That's a Chun Yi Lee oh. victory sound that she makes. What did you say? I didn't even hear I Like I heard you say a noise. But it's like, like she jumps up and down, she goes, ha 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 ha, get back! <laughs> Get back? I think what? so. Okay. We lost nice. him, guys. He's gone. <laughs> the CGB we knew. Lost in the sauce. I'm just excited. I love this. This is amazing. Okay, so she's technically a 6 2 right now, then? She's a 6 6 with two damage on or with four damage right. on her. She has two yeah, toughness. Right. Yep. Yeah, that's what I meant. Um, you so also yeah. cast like three two. spells I'd... with Tal Rend out. Yeah, I cast two. So I will get Make two more drakes. Let's go. So that was all during combat, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so you got eight coming at you. Yeah, I still have to take this damage. Yeah. So, yep. One. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm tapped out, done. Okay, I'll untap. I feel like I took your best shot, Ben. <laughs> you took both our best shots, you stupid nerd. I'll Just draw. <laughs> all right, I uh, will play a Plaza of Heroes. This, uh, I can pay three in a tap and I can make a legendary creature hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. That could come in handy. Let's go to combat. Ben. Hello. <laughs> it's time to fight. Chun-Li, coming at you. So attack trigger. I'm going to cast a Chroma's Will and Thought Scour. I do control my commander. So she will have double strike and lifelink and flying and protection from all colors. And I'm going to mill two and draw a card. So pretty much unblockable, <laughs> unless I have a response, very, which I'm tapped out on, so. Very difficult to block. Yeah. So, so that is. take 12, right? 12 commander, and I gain 12 life. Okay. So I've drawn all these cards. Are they good? They're trying to be. 
Yeah. But well, you they're already... not Sorry. that good. And I've kind of had yeah. to play all my stuff, and I'm definitely the target. And uh, is, is, I'm a little uncomfortable with it, <laughs> with this whole situation. Unfortunately, you had to use all your treasures, too. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do something that looks a little crazy. But I think this is what I have to do to survive. So I'm going to be tapping six. And against possibly my better judgment, I'm going to cast Farewell. And I'm going to name all modes. I'm going to exile all artifacts, all creatures, all enchantments, and all graveyards because of that past in flames. All right, then I will cast a Soul Ring, and I will cast a Cold Seal Heart. I'll name Blue, and I am done. After that absolute whirlwind of a turn cycle, I'm going to untap. I'm going to tick Blanca down to one time counter. Draw for turn. All right, I'm going to pay two mana. I'm going to cast a three visits. I don't get a forest card, put it on a battlefield. I'm gonna play a grafted exoskeleton. Oh man. Or as I said in the intro, of course. Gotcha. Oh yeah, not that I didn't understand you when you were talking the intro, but what does that do again? So basically, <laughs> so I equip it to Blanca, and every time I target Blanca with a spell, he does two damage to everybody. That's now infect damage. Ah, uh, right, okay. but that's not what that card does. That's the, like the utility of, that's like the- Oh yeah, right. well this card gives plus two, plus two in infect. Right, yeah. But in this deck, right. it is meant to do AOE infect. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Go ahead, Shay. Yeah, fun. Friendly. I love that for us. I'm gonna play a Marsh Flats, and I'm not gonna crack it, because I can tap it for green. Mm. All right. We're tapping a cool nine <laughs> to Cassangi. Very cool. He's been out wrestling bears. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's an expensive fighter. Okay, um, that's my turn. Okay, on tap. I will then tap one, two, three to play a Rogrin crystal. I'll tap oh, six on. to oh. get Ring Guile out. So enters and oh yeah. You charge get. counter. Boom. Charge counter. Okay. And then I'll pass. On your end step. Oh man. I'm gonna do a mystical tutor. Oh boy. I'm gonna <laughs> fetch a swords to plow Whoa. shares. Hmm. Alright, go to my turn. Untap. Draw. Alright, I'm going to pay a total of six using Chun Li, paying three life for Hall the Bandit Lord, so that she will enter with haste. And I'm going to multi-kick once. Yeah! And exile Mystical Tutor with a kick counter on it, if that resolves. All right. If she enters, I'm... Can I kill Blake? I don't think I can. Because it's be still wild. only six commander. All right. Uh, I do have that Blanca coming at me, but I have a sword, so I don't think he wants to mess with me too much. So, yep, we attack Blake with Chun-Li of countless kicks, and she goes, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I'm going to resolve them in order of Akroma's Will, then Thought Scour, then Mystical Tutor. So <laughs> uh, she gains flying protection from all colors, double strike, lifelink, etc. Thought Scour will mill two cards, Supreme Verdict and a Plains, and draw. And then we will search with Mystical Tutor and put an instant or sorcery on top. I'm going to get a Dovin's Veto. Anyway, Blake, are you having fun with the six commander oh. uh, and six lifelink? I am having a ton of fun with it, actually. After that, I'm done. Okay. Um, on my upkeep, Blanca will enter the battlefield. Yeah. Oh, man. Yep. Draw for turn. Yep. I'm going to spend two mana, move to equip Grafted X Skeleton onto Blanca. In response, big surprise to everybody, I'm going to attempt to Swords to Plowshares Blanca. I will cast Heroic Intervention in response. Ooh. In response, <laughs> I will cast Frantic Search, drawing two cards, then discarding two cards and untapping three lands. Mm -hmm. I will discard Emiria's Call and Adarkar Wastes. I will mm -hmm. untap Azorius Chancery, and Seachrome Coast and Island. 
And then I will, still on the stack, attempt to Dovin's Veto, targeting Heroic Intervention. That resolves. All right, so it's Plowshares targeting Blanca on the stack. And that resolves. You do get five life. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Could hey, you you're do? back up to 21, Blake. All right, no. 21. And Blanca costs seven now. All right, in my second main phase, I will cast a Cruel Signet. Nice. And pass the turn to Shay. All right, I'm going to tap three for a Domri, Anarch of Bolus. Gives my creatures plus one, plus oh. It's plus one, lets me add a red or green. Creature spells you cast this turn can't be countered. And also it's got a minus two. Target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. Okay. Um, I am going to go to minus... I'm going to minus two Domri to go to one to have Zangief fight Chun-Li. Poor little Chun-Li didn't see it coming. Okay. Uh, yep, she's going to... She's going to take all that seven damage. Yep. Go to command zone. I believe you have an, a trigger now. I sure do. Nice. Um, so yes, uh, that creature's controller sacrifices a non-creature non-land permanent because I did excess damage to it. Okay, uh, Cold Steel Heart, you're out of here. I'll tap two for Swift Foot Boots. Move to equip Swift Foot Boots to Zangief. Then I'm going to move to combat. Uh, you sure? Yes. <laughs> ben, I'm going to attack you with Zangief. Get him, Shay. You are forced to block. I will have to block. Yes. Okay. It's an 8-4 indestructible. He's dead. <laughs> Kyle's out of here. Yeah. yeah. Revenge. Yeah. Two. He also took excess damage. So, yep. so <laughs> that raw grin crystal, bye-bye. Then I pass the turn. I think I'll just pass. Sus. So I guess if you just recast your commander, it might just get zangief again, so right, maybe yeah, that's what he's thinking. Yeah. All right. I think he's got Could counter be. spells. <laughs> maybe. I untap. I draw. So now I'm in the position of possibly playing into counter spells. Oh, justice. It's kind of messed up. Justice. justice. <laughs> I'm going to pay a total of nine, including paying three life for Hall of Bandit Lord. For Chun-Li of countless kicks with multi-kicker and the idea here is if this enters the battlefield, I'm trying to exile Frantic Search and Swords to Plowshares from my graveyard as well, but I guess it's on the stack. Does chun -Li resolve? Yeah. Cool. I'm going to try to move to combat. Any responses? Okay. No. And what you got over there? <laughs> All right. I, I don't know what Ben's up to. Oh, it's not good. It might be a psyche psych rift. <laughs> and I'm not sure what to do about Infecti Blanca, but I know you can't equip at the same turn. So I'm going to attack Ben with oh. Chun Li, and I'm going to attempt to cast Swords to Plowshares. That's can't target. Strong. I'm not casting Swords to Plowshares. Good catch. Um, but I am trying to cast a Chroma's Will, Frantic Search, Thought Scour, Mystical Tutor. We'll put Mystical Tutor last. Frantic to search second for last, Thought Scour, and start with the will. So, does a Chroma's will resolve? Yeah. All right. All of the abilities are gained. Does Thought Scour resolve? Yeah. All right. So I mill two. There's a Saga, Glacial Fortress. I draw a card. Frantic search. Yeah. I draw two. Then I discard two. We'll make them lands. And we'll untap three lands. One, two, and three. All right. And then Mystical Tutor. In response. I'll okay. Tap two, three, four for the colorless, and the scry two. <laughs> yep. <laughs> keep this on top and bottom this one. Okay. Can I miss a cool tutor? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yep, I'm going to put Nexus of Fate on top of my library. Oh, guys, I'm so, so you got one turn, guys. <laughs> so, do you take your uh, six, your double strike lifelink damage? Face I will take the six. All right, I'll gain six. Yep, so 18, oh, Commander. <laughs> oh, you did it, you got it. That oh, was getting scary here, Ben. That's a lot. It is a lot. All right, I'm done. Well, as a wise man once said, Full send.
Nobody can match my brutal strength. CGB, I'm attacking you for five. All right. You wouldn't so dare. You played Blanca from the command zone, tap seven, and you attack me for five, Commander. Yep. I'll take it. Go ahead, Shay. I will tap three and arena. Um, and I'm going to choose Zangief. And CGB, I will have you choose one of your creatures. Hmm. Think on it. Wait, can I read the arena? Yeah. Choose one of your creatures and have your opponents choose one of his or her creatures. Oh. Both target creatures become tapped. So if I use Plaza to gain Hexproof and Indestructible, does oh. the fight happen? Oh. It says both target creatures after it says choose. Since we kind of just have to make a call and judges in the chat will get on it, what I'm going to do is we're going to say that it's because I'm tar I'm choosing what's going to be targeted that the hexproof won't work since they specifically mentioned shroud but not the hexproof. Yeah. I'm still going to use Plaza of Heroes and it's going to gain indestructible though. Mm, yeah. So the fight is going to happen. Yeah. But the uh, Chun Li will not die. However, mm -hmm. excess damage was dealt to Chun-Li, therefore I have to sacrifice a permanent, and I only have one, and it's a soul ring. So I think that's the resolution we can go for. Okay, well, the soul ring is gone. Yep, Chun-Li survived the fight. Zangief is tapped, because yes. the creatures had to tap. Yes, that is correct. I'm gonna plus one, Domri, go to two, and I'm gonna add um, green mana to the mana pool. Then I'll tap three and use the one from the mana pool to cast Serith, the Viper's Fang. Um, other tapped creatures you control have Death Touch, and other untapped creatures you control have Hexproof. Okie doke, I'm going to pass the turn to Ben. Right. I'll tap six to play a Dream Trawler. Oh my. Fun little flyer. Fun. <laughs> Yeah. It's got a weird definition of fun. Yeah. And I'll pass because it doesn't have hate. All right. I will untap and draw a certain card. All right. I will move to combat and I will attack Blake with Chun-Li of Countless Kicks, adding a whole bunch of things to the stack. Resolving... Chroma's Will, then Swords to Plowshares, then Thought Scour, then Frantic Search, then Mystical Tutor, in that order. Um, so adding those to the stack and holding priority. I'm going to cast Nexus of Fate. I'm going to use Hall of the Bandit Lord uh, with Yavamaya for green, so I don't take damage. And then this shuffles back into the library. And I have an extra turn after this one. Um, all right, so Akroma's Will, lifelink, double strike, Swords to Plowshares is going to target the Viper, let's say, and Thought Scour is going to mill two. Mill Nexus. And I draw a card, <laughs> and then Frantic Search resolves. I draw two, I discard two, and discard these two. And then I will Mystical Tutor, and I'll put Nexus of Fate on top of my library. And then it's six points of commander to you, Blake. In response to the Mystical Tutor resolving, or do you not do that? So in response to the Mystical Tutor right. on the in stack. In response to the Mystical Tutor on the stack, I'll take one damage from the Waste and Teferi's Protection. Myself, obviously. Because it says until your next turn. So you can take as many turns as you want until they're dead. Okay. But then, like, I'm alive still. <laughs> So that's what Interesting. Yeah. That's funny. Interesting. Okay. I like that. Okay. You're gonna uh, you're gonna untap with him having the biggest. Board. All right. Bye. Bye. See you later. Um. Anyway. I'm out. Uh, so I'm gonna do that mystical tutor. All right. That's on top. Uh, six points for Blake, and I gain six. Yep. I take six to eighteen. You're at eighteen, Commander. Okay. Uh, Post-combat, I'm going to play Exotic Orchard as my land for turn and untap and draw Nexus of Fate for turn. Going to cast Nexus of Fate, shuffle it back into the library. I will <laughs> attack Blake and I will cast Swords to... I can't Swords anything anymore, right? 
Technically, you could swords. I guess I could swords but... Blanca, but it doesn't make sense. Doesn't so I'm not going to swords. All right, I'm going to attack Blake. I'm going to cast a Chroma's Will, Thought Scour, Frantic Search with Mystical Tutor resolving last. So. Are you targeting yourself with Thought Scour again? I am targeting myself with Thought Scour. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't. One. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. I will target Blake with Thought Scour. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> so you will mill two cards and I'll draw because now I'm worried that I'm going to run out of stuff before yeah. I get to Ben's turn. <laughs> And then I will draw two from Frantic Search, discard two. I'll discard a Swift Foot Boots and Deep Gnome Terramancer. And I'll untap and I will Mystical Tutor, putting Nexus of Fate on top. And that's six and six life. <laughs> Are you gonna kick me to death here, buddy? Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You lose. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> nice. All right. I'll post combat and move to my next turn. Untap. Draw. I will do a lot of the same stuff. <laughs> I will attack Shay. You're the only one left. Um, so I will cast a Chroma's Will. I will Thought Scour targeting you. So you mill two. I draw a card. Yes. I will Frantic Search. Draw two. Untap two lands, discard two, or untap three lands, discard two. And I will deal you six commander after mystical tutoring for Nexus of Eight. <laughs> Go to my turn. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we draw Nexus of Eight, we cast Nexus of Eight, we do the thing again, we attack Shay. Uh, I'm going to mill you for two and draw a card with Thought Scour. Then I'm going to frantic search, draw two, discard two. This is kind of it's getting dicey. All right, untap three. Mystical Tutor Nexus of Fate. Now time is definitely a flat circle. Yep. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> you swear to fairies here somewhere. <laughs> All right, Shay. Uh, six commander and six life. Did you already? Yep, just did it. Okay, I will move to my next turn. Mm -hmm. I will untap. I will cast Nexus of Fate. Wah, wah, wah. I will attack. With Chun Li of Countless Kicks, I will use the Acroma's Will, and then I'm not going to cast any of the other things except for the Mystical Tutor. And I'm going to search up Nexus of Fate and put it on top of the library. Yep. I'll move to my next turn. 18 and 4, it's, it's working right out. I'll move yep. to my next turn. I'll cast the Nexus of Fate. Mm -hmm. I'll move to combat. I will attack Shay. I will <laughs> use the Acroma's Will. Um, and I will target Shay. With the Thought Scour to mill two cards, I will draw a card, I will Frantic Search, I will draw two cards, I will untap two, untap three, rather. I don't know why I always, it's because it's draw everything two. everything else is two, yeah. Yeah, that's why. Yep. And uh, Chun-Li, uh, after Mystical Tutoring for Nexus of Fate. Say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> you lose! <laughs> <laughs> Next time we meet, I'm going to break your arms. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't even a zanky but that was a shake roll. Excellent. I know. All right, oh, I, I have great. a turn after this one. Um, I'm going to go to my turn. I'm going to untap, I'm going to draw. You know it's a nexus of fate. Then I'm going to cast Merchant Scroll. And I'm going to search my library for an instant and put it into my hand. I'm going to go get Fierce Guardianship oh, okay. and put that into my hand. <laughs> you got your work cut off for you, Ben. Yeah. I have to make absolutely sure. <laughs> I, I mean, he's got something. No. Who knows what it is? You <laughs> never know. And uh, so, Ben, you wanted this extra turn so badly. You, you Teferi, you be pieced sweet. out. Let's see it. I just wanted to Your turn, have... Ben. Your turn. Hey, at least I'm second, guys. <laughs> Okay, I'll draw a card. It better be. Uh, Dream Trawler will get plus one, plus O. Oh. Yep. Till end of turn. Oh yeah, I'll move to combat. All right, I'm going to cast a Chain of Vapor and I'm going to target the Dream Trawler. Okay, that will resolve. Okay, would you like to continue the chain? No. Okay. Guess I'll pass then. <laughs> okay. 
Amazing turn, huh? <laughs> it was a turn. <laughs> That's the turn you waited for, huh? Yep. Okay. Uh, let's go to my turn. Let's try to kick this game out of here. I'll draw. I'm going to pay three life to play a Seagate Reborn on the backside because I'm just trying to close here and I might need all my mana. And I'm going to move to combat. Um, as you move to combat, I will tap seven. Boom. Cast Hullbreaker Horror. Oh! Because it's got flash. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and it can't be countered. And it can't be countered. Okay, it resolves. Do I get to go to combat? No. No? I'll tap two. I'll cast a Boros Charm. Yeah? Uh, I'll do four damage to your face. Four damage to my face. Yes. And triggering Holebreaker Horror. Triggering Holebreaker Horror to bounce Toon Lee back to your hand. <laughs> I feel like I should be able to do something about this. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, uh, the ability on the stack, I'm going to cast a Consider. I'm going to look at my top card. I can put it in my graveyard, which I will because it's a gemstone cavern. <laughs> I'm going to draw. No luck on that counter. Yeah. None. I'm going to cast a mental note. I'm going to put, I'm going to mill two and draw a card. Oh. <laughs> Talisman of Progress, Desert Beach. I'm going to draw. Nope. Okay, you did it. You bounced Chun Li. <laughs> take, take four? I take four. But yeah. I'm going to cast Nexus of Fate. Oh, yeah, right. That card. <laughs> And I'm going to shuffle that back into my library. And now I'm going to take an extra turn. Yep. So how many cards you got left? One. And it's a dream trawler. Maybe. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to untap. I think he's got it. I'm going to draw for turn. I'm going to cast Chunli of Countless Kicks using the Hall of the Bandit Lord. And I'm going to pay three life so that she enters the battlefield with haste. I could multi-kick her for all this stuff. I'm not going to. We're just going to try to do this thing. I'm going to attack. I'm going to use Acroma's Will. I'm going to use Thought Scour targeting you. And I'm going to cast Swords to Plowshares on the Hullbreaker Horror, because I have to get rid of that thing. And I'm also going to Frantic Search and Mystical Tutor. So which one's resolving for you? So first of all, Acroma's Will, Double Strike Lifelink. Then mm -hmm. Thought Scour, mill two cards, and I'll draw. Swords to Plowshares, exile this, you will gain seven life. Seven life. Heck yeah. Frantic Search, I will draw two, I will discard two, then I will untap three lands. Consecrated Sphinx oh. and Archaeomancer's Map. Last untap three. three lands. Mystical Tutor, I'll search my library for Nexus of Fate. Jeez, that library is in small. Uh, it's very, <laughs> it's not big. <laughs> And you will take six, six, and I will gain six life. And I died. Because that's commander damage, right? the commander right? damage. Yeah. Yep. Yeah! 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 Get back! <laughs> <laughs> I would say I could see through all your moves. You're no match for me. But you are a match for me. <laughs> I've been defeated. <laughs> oh, oh my god, my I've, gosh. that's so many kicks. That was <laughs> countless I can't kicks. count them. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. Oh, there's so many things oh, about man. this game I can't count anymore. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's find oh, our... Oh my gosh. Let's find the card of the game. Yep. All right, it's time for the CoolStuffInc.com card of the game. Use the promo code WORST if you're picking up cards like these or other stuff at CoolStuffInc.com to show your love for the show. And for Chun Li, the champion, as brought to you by our patron, Alice Hart, I'm giving my card of the game to the Hall of the Bandit Lord. This legendary land from original Kamigawa let me give Chun Li haste so that she could attack again and again, and it wasn't as fragile as something that might sit on the board and get blown up, like a swift foot boots or a lightning greaves. Just having it there in the land spot, being ready to make sure that I didn't have to wait another turn to get all the value off the commander, I think made a huge difference in the game. So that's my card of the game, Hall of the Bandit Lord. Blaka. What is your card of the game? Uh, it's gonna have to be Season of Growth. This card is so gross in this deck. Like, the fact that every time I target him with a spell, I get to draw another card. Like, it just keeps my hand super full. It was super fun. And 
Nobody can match my strength. <laughs> it was terrifying. <laughs> it was season of gross. I know. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was absolutely a terrifying yeah, card for sure. Sweet. Shay, what is your card of the game? Yeah, my card of the game is Arena. Um, it was just a pretty cool land um, to be able to use and had really good potential. We realized a little too late that this ability could be used at instant speed, which would have been better on CGB's upkeep to tap Chun-Li and prevent you from attacking and murdering us all. Um, yeah. So yeah, potentially almost there as a super sweet play. <laughs> so close still pretty cool but oh, yeah. not as effective as it could have been definitely not a utility land you see hardly ever yeah. but perfect for your commander like yes. like it's one of those cards that really works with one type of commander and this is it yeah. so it's cool to see those cards show up yeah then card of the game uh i really like this commander he was really fun to play um i would have to give it to him Oh, because handing mm -hmm. it to the commander. Was, yeah, it was just really fun playing him. I was about to use the life, the second ability, the life link and indestructible on my turn, but Shay uh, uh, killed him with something. I don't remember what it was. Her commander. I, I, uh, yeah, yeah, I had to block. That's what it was. Yeah, mm -hmm. I but I. Revenge. Yeah, but my. I think my true card of the game was the the fairy's protection that made me <laughs> troll both. Yeah, it was just funny. I was like, ha, I can cast this and they'll have to die before I do. <laughs> <laughs> so at least I'm the first loser, in other words, second place. He's still trolling us right now. He's yeah. still getting like extra time on camera troll equity from yeah. Teferi's Protection. Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, thank you for watching this video, guys. It means a lot. You stayed till the end. That is the number one thing you can do for the show. And if you would like to support it further, you can go ahead and check out the link to Patreon in the description where we have some sweet perks. And thank you very much to all of our patrons for the support. So for Blake, for Shay, for Ben, it's me, it's CGB. Thank you for witnessing this epic Street Fighter throwdown. You're cool. <laughs>